Hey everybody, my name is Chris. On today's episode of Game Parables, we'll be covering a game that's been inspired by heart attacks. Uh, and the story behind the scenes may just change your outlook on life. Coming up. So I got one of these, a PlayStation gift card for my birthday this past February. Uh, and I just finally decided to use it on a, a game, and, and of course it's only $25, you can't really buy a AAA game, one of those really expensive uh, games that everybody knows about, so I went to the indie section on the PlayStation Store and I just saw what was there. Well, a game caught my eye called Hyper Light Drifter, and it really caught my attention, because the reviews were saying that the music was really great, and the pixel art animation was really cool looking, and I just decided to jump in on it without knowing much about it, and I, I went ahead and got the game, and I'm so happy I did. It's an amazing game, and it's totally unexpected. That I didn't even know where this game was coming from, or I've never even heard of Hyper Light Drifter before. You probably haven't either, uh, but it's a fantastic game. It actually reminds me quite a bit of the show Samurai Jack. Uh, not quite in the art style as much, but but in the way that it kind of presents his story in a minimalistic way. It doesn't tell you very much. You kind of have to interpret a lot. Uh, there's kind of it's in this futuristic setting. There's a lot of sword action and gun action and and um, different species of uh, people walking around the towns and it's kind of got that thing going and, and even even the antagonist is kind of the shape-shifting black figure uh, that you have to fight at the very end uh, and so and in some ways it's also like the game Shadow of Colossus in the way that you just don't really get a lot of explanation into what you're doing uh, but you just do it and then you kind of put the pieces together as you play the game and, it, and I really love that. If you find that you really enjoy this game you'll probably finish it in just a couple days like I did uh, but I'm on New Game Plus and it is actually a super hard challenge. It's basically like a no hit challenge because you have such little health and this is a little bit of footage of me playing the game if, in case you're curious about it. Alright. Oh my goodness! Something plagues you as the main character in this game. You see it at the very beginning with the story, without words again. It's all pictures and all just kind of you you're watching these events happening. Uh, it happens as you explore this world, and it happens especially after you defeat bosses in this game. And it's you're coughing up blood. It's apparent that you have some kind of disease, but the game keeps presenting it as this monster that's attacking you. And again, there's really no explanation about how you got this disease or, or how you intend to cure it. I was curious to learn more, so I found this interview that was done with the creator of the game, done by Vice on YouTube, it's about a seven minute video. It does have some bad language in it, so be careful about that, but uh, I'll put a little bit of that here just so you get a little bit more of an idea about the story behind Hyperlight Drifter. I am the creator of Heart Machine and Hyperlight Drifter. The story of the game is that you're in this ruinous world, like something terrible has happened, and the character that you're playing has a horrible illness that he's been dealing with and is dying from, and so he's seeking out a cure, like any self-preserving creature would do. I was born with a congenital heart condition. Why not put yourself into your art and make it more personal because for me, that's always the most interesting art. I do think that he feels that there's a guillotine hanging above his head, and at any moment, something could happen and it could drop. So the creator of this game has this heart condition that he's had ever since he was young uh, that could potentially just end his life in a moment's notice. You know, I can't imagine uh, the amount of paranoia you'd feel, the amount of fear that you would have, but instead of giving up, uh, the creator of this game was motivated by that fact to, to, to think, I have to get my life's work done before I run out of time. And it's what motivated him to put his own story inside the game and, and just get the game done to share out with the world in time. Uh, and I, I find that really inspiring. I'm going to read a story to you from the Bible today from Matthew. It's about the time Jesus called Matthew to be one of his disciples, and something really interesting happens. I want you to hear it here in Matthew 9, verses 9 through 12. It says, As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at his tax collector's booth. Follow me and be my disciple, Jesus said to him. So Matthew got up and followed him. Later, Matthew invited Jesus and his disciples to his home as dinner guests, along with many tax collectors and other disreputable sinners. 
But when the Pharisees saw this, they asked his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with such scum? When Jesus heard this, he said, Healthy people don't need a doctor, sick people do. Then he added, Now go and learn the meaning of the scripture. I want you to show mercy, not offer sacrifices. For I have come to call not those who think they are righteous, but those who know they are sinners. Uh, in this story, we have one group of people, the tax collectors, the outcasts, the, Matthew, uh, who recognize their condition, that they are sinners in need of a savior. While this other group, the Pharisees, see themselves as righteous in and of themselves, though they are in the same condition as all these outcasts. They're sinners just like, the, just like them, but they don't recognize it. They're totally blind to it. And Jesus says, I'm, I'm the doctor of the world, basically. I'm, I'm here to save people from their sins. These people recognize that they need me. You guys don't. The truth is, everyone has a heart condition. Jeremiah 17, 9 says this, it says, The human heart is the most deceitful of all things, and desperately wicked. Who really knows how bad it is? Contrary to popular belief, where you hear this all the time, this cliche that says, follow your heart, or follow your instincts, and all this, uh, the Bible says that our heart is deceptive above everything. It is so wicked, it seeks after what's evil and sinful. Jesus is the doctor who will make us well. The problem is, uh, we're sometimes blind to the fact that we are sick. We're blind to the fact that we have sin in our life that we need to get rid of. Uh, we're coughing up blood, but we don't see it, you know. Just like the hyperlight drifters seeking after this cure, we need to be seeking after Jesus, who has the power to forgive us of our sins. So I just wanted to create this video to say, hey, props to this creator, and, and this game did inspire me to think of one of my favorite passages, Matthew 9, 12. So hey guys, those are my thoughts on Hyperlight Drifter. It's an amazing game. If you have the system to play it, I highly recommend it. If you enjoyed this game parable and got something out of it, definitely hit a like and subscribe to this channel, the channel that helps you win at the game and win at life. My name is Chris, and I'll see you in the next video. I was out. Are you kidding me? Two hits. Two hits is insane. You just basically can't get hit. If you get hit, it's over. Oh, that was close. Get away. Hello, bird person.